so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Big House USA. I decided to do a movie marathon, movie review marathon today because I got the day off. I can't find any hot dates this weekend. I could get, go get a haircut, but uh, that's not going to take up an entire day. I don't have my son today. So, hopefully things will get better this year and I'll be able to actually uh, see my son more often than I'm already a good parent, but um, I just don't see him enough. So, that's the way the divorce system works here. Not much I can do without my lawyer's help, so that's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, anyway, getting back to the movie, um, I give it five out of five stars a couple of years ago. Um, it's from 1955. It's quite brutal, actually, uh, for for a black and white movie from the 50s, and um, I called it awesome. Uh, Bronnie Cheney and the other three dudes are perfect hoods. The FBI is put in a good light. When all the hoods are dead except the nurse who gets 20 years. Uh, Cheney is incredible as he is in all of his movies where he appears. All around great noir crime jail flick that stands out for the intense cruelty, violence, suffering that occurs off screen. As I mentioned before, the br brutality of this movie is just insane. And I can't say enough good things about this flick from the initial crime to the jail scenes to the escape to the surprise nurse accomplice to the ending scene at the ed edge of the gorge. Everything is just perfect and it's my kind of flick. Uh, 